Okay, I'm just going to do this in one take and I'm not going to even try and script anything. I'm just going to go off of what I remember, what I've read and everything that's been going on because I'm going to be honest, I am just getting sick of this. So recently there's been a huge, huge drama surge going on within the Cookie Run Number Break or just in general the Cookie Run community because, well, I don't know how to explain it, but let's go back from the very start of uh, the Season 6 update. The Season 6 update in regards to the fans' opinions, was probably one of the worst Cookie Run Oven Break updates ever, including, you know, raid runs and how they, I guess, I guess they're boring and just, like, they're not really worth it and it's unbalanced. Uh, like, there's also the concept of, like, plumbing, reu like, fix, quote-unquote fixing the Magical Laboratory, even though it didn't need to be fixed at all, and a bunch of stuff like that. So, what ended up happening was that there was a lot of cr outcry from the fans, and... How that ended up was, uh, well, of course they complained, don't get me wrong, like, obviously you have the right to complain, but one of the things that they did was, uh, during a live stream that had, like, the community manager, specifically there was Rose in there, who, you know, is one of the iconic, you know, community managers who you usually see within the Cook to Run update teasers, uh, you know, along with Mi'kmaq, and there was a lot of fans who just sent hateful, like, terrible messages at her expense, and... It was at a point in the live stream where she had a literal mental breakdown and like started crying. And if you if you think that I'm lying about this, I'm not. There's a lot of like local like clubbing witnesses who've seen the stream. But the unfortunate thing is you can't find the stream anymore because the stream has been like deleted. It's been removed. It was probably like removed at like from the order of like a higher up of Dev Sisters. And that just makes me feel so terrible because like there's a lot to really take in. So, there's two sides that I really need to talk about here. The side of Dev Sisters and how they're bad, and a partial side of the Cookie Run community and how they're bad. Because, really, there's two sides that I look at this, and I just do not like at all. So, I'm still going to be trying to do this in one take. So, realistically, let me just get rid of, like, playing one side, and then talk about the other. So, let's talk about the Dev Sister side. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff going on where, uh, there might be stuff behind the scenes of Dev Sisters where it's like workplace neglect and stuff like that, which I can understand, which I think that's a terrible thing too. And of course, plumbing the best way to just complain to Dev Sisters about the new update and just tell them that this is a bad thing is to contact them directly. Now, I'm going to make the statement again at the end of the video. Hopefully, I do remember. But you need to make sure that you email Dev Sisters directly. You do not want to try and speak to something as a community manager. That's not, their purpose is not to, like, work on the game. Like, sure, they can, like, maybe, like, test the game or something like that. But their purpose isn't to test the game. Their purpose is to, like, focus on the community side, you know, talk to people, and just, like, you know, make funny posts and, like, keep the actual people who are interested in Cookie Run, you know, entertained. While the other people in the system, in the clubbing company, work on the thing. Now, I have to be honest with you. In regards to uh, recent updates with Cookie Run Oven Break, I... Along with many other people who can agree that the game has been going on a downward spiral. And I actually had a document loaded up with a couple of uh, plumbing not too good complaints. Well, actually, they're very valid complaints, but basically complaints that makes everyone angry. For example, I, I, and this might, this might be a personal gripe, but like, what was the point of giving Poison Mushroom Cookie voice acting if that was just like a one time thing? Like, sure, if you were to implement voice acting into Cookie Run Oven Break, that's, that, would, that would be fine. That would actually be pretty cool. But what's the point of having voice acting if you're just going to apply it to one cookie? I thought this would have been a major change in the game. However, it just makes no sense just to give it to Poison Mushroom Cookie like cookie and then no one else. Because even when the game updated after that, when it gave us Blue Lily, like Blue Lily Cookie, we didn't get any voice acting for her. So I don't know what's up with that. And didn't even give any other cookies voice acting. Like the best you got for voice acting are like sound effects when you jump and slide. That's it. There's also just raid runs in general, which I gotta be honest, I... I at first liked. I thought the like concept of like you team up with people to take down this big boss. It was really cool. However, it really just it was kind of just very no no not even kind of. It was just very unbalanced. It was kind of like boring really quick because like really and especially since like I have to admit this might be a side thing for me, but one of the missions that you need to do to unlock the story is that you have to guarantee run with friends. And bear in mind these have to be active friends because you can have a lot of people on your friends list, but like 
mo a majority of them might not be active. Now, of, 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 of course, you can run with, like, the old mates, I'm pretty sure, too. But you gotta make sure they're active, too. And that also implies they gotta be active in Cookie Run. So, you have to make sure you take that into effect. And there's also some other complaints. Like, the one that I hate the most being the, quote-unquote, improvement of the Magic Laboratory. Like, there was no point. Like, if it wasn't broken before, which I don't think it was broken at all, why fix it? And I know the reasoning between, like, you know, when they spoke about it in, like, the update review video was that it would make rewards easier to obtain, but I just found that it made them harder. Like, I understand, like, you know, oh, if you had a lot of these, uh, items that we removed, we would give you a bunch of the, uh, gold sugar crystals, and that's kind of a, that's kind of cool, I guess, but you still gotta work up just to find out how everything else works, because the plumbing colored sugar crystals, you know, the flavor, you know, I don't know, br brown, orange, and the solid ones too, they were a staple in the game that just made, like, getting magic candies and also ingredients easy, and to really set an example for this, which is a big complaint I worry about, all of my past shorts that have, like, you know, this cookie's favorite gift is this, and their least favorite gift is this, they're barely effective anymore. Like, I can't do those anymore. Um, like the, I guess the only thing I can do is, like, say that their favorite gift is, like, the thing that directly makes their magic candy. Like, you know, I think Poison Mushrooms has something to do with, like, uh, an actual mushroom, or Lily Bell is, like, this actual, like, Lyra. But, like, I thought magic candies were just a lot easier to obtain just in general. But I really can't do that anymore when I make the shorts. I have to find up, I have to come up with some sort of an alternative. And I think that's kind of sta like stupid and sad. But there's still a lot more complaints to be told. And I gotta be honest, I've kind of lost motivation to play a game. Now, I gotta be honest, I, there are still a lot of videos that I can make about the game. Like, there, I have a lot of, like, videos backed up. Which is fair, because there's still a lot of stuff that I haven't seen the game, because, like, I mean, I missed the first four years playing the game, nearly five, and, like, I'm only still somewhat of a newbie, even though I've been playing the game for, like, two years. But, it's still a lot of stories that I've been missing out, I at least want to report for the reaction's sake. But when you keep on make, quote-unquote, improving the game, even though you're not improving the game at all, it just makes no sense. Like, really, you should be listening to the community, and just, like, finding out what the, like, honestly... The best way how I could tell, like, if you want to listen to a community is at least have some sort of, like, a survey. And then you can sort the survey out with, like, you know, things you want to see in the game, things you want returned, things you want fixed. Just, like, make it so that people can look at the survey, they can type out stuff, or you can select little bubbles of, like, how they want things done. Because I feel like that's the biggest step into trying to make your game go into correct, like, direction. Because you have to bear in mind, I love Cookie Run. Like, if it wasn't for Cookie Run, I wouldn't be where I am today. Because I've been playing it for so long. And it's sad to see the game go in this direction. But I'm not trying to f be the person who just, like, you know, bows to Dev Sisters at any point that I can. I'm the person who wants to be the voice to try and, like, talk about everything that's going on, no matter how serious or, like, how not serious it is. I want to be honest about everything. So maybe that's a, that could be just me. Maybe I am just being a little bit nitpicky. But that is just how I see the situation from, like, how Plubbing Dev Sisters is treating this. However, let's talk about the other side. The fans, like the Plumbing Cookie Run community. So, I gotta be honest with you, how they treated this is not good at all. Now, there's obviously some people out there who treat this in a civil manner. Now, those people I respect. But to the people who thought that it would be a good idea to directly try and blame the community managers and think that they could do something about it, actually awful. Like, seriously disgusting. I even know for a fact myself that the community managers can do same, like something about it. Sure, it would be, like, you know, they can be easily reached out, don't get me wrong. But they don't effectively, like, work on the game. Like I said before earlier, they focus on the community itself and, like, trying to push, like, you know, fun things. Like, little fun posts and stuff like that for, like, the community and talk with the community and stuff. They don't control how the game works. So the fact that people would go on a live stream and, like, it just hurl insults at one of the community managers, to the point where she actually broke down and cried. And I, and let me tell you something like that. I could tell you, like, from experience, I have broken down and cried on a live stream once. This is actually on, like, one of my, uh, Black Pearl Island live streams. And I didn't even break out because of, like, hatred. It was, I was, I broke down and, like, started crying because of, like, my stupidity. Because there was way more better players out there than me, and I was like, man... How could this really happen? But then, like, the people in the chat, like, cheered me back up, and I just have had to, like, you know, snap out of it. I had just to be fine. But the fact that, like, she was actually throwing hatred out there, because I can't even compare myself to her, because, like, I was just doing this because I'm very sensitive. She was getting full-on hatred, and I cannot 
imagine how that feels, especially when she basically had nothing to do with the situation at all. Like, sure, yeah, she works there, but, like, she wasn't, like, a heavy aspect into the actual development. Sure, she showcased it with Mi'kmaq, but, like, no one, like, not even, like, you know, any community manager should have to go through that. Like I said, and I'll say this again at the end of the video, if you want to complain to Dev Sisters, you email them. You email them direct complaints of what you do not want and, like, what should be fixed. And, like, and be sure to, like, just write it down like a document and, like, copy and paste it over if you want. Because I want you to make sure that you have all those details correct. Because, I gotta be honest, I said this before and I'm just getting sick of this drama. This is, like, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is probably worse than the NFT drama. Because, like, at least with the NFT, like, it was a staple of, like, you know, this is just, like, you know, NFTs being bad in the first place. Like, I'm still on the side of, like, no NFTs, obviously. Which, of course, sure, maybe that video can be, like, looked at and, like, you know, there's some people who can agree, some people who can disagree. And that's completely fine. There's gonna be opinion, like, opinions in this video that you can agree with and you can't agree with. That's completely fine. This is just me speaking my honest opinion. But what I can say is, admittedly an honest opinion is that everyone at the end of the day needs to be civil and treat people like they are humans because we're all humans at the end of the day. Do you know how terrible we would look if people like how they were treating Rose in the stream like kept going and just kept harassing her and she ended up doing something that we would regret like on the terms of like I don't even even say it, but like self-harm I wouldn't even be able to, like, look at this community with, like, a straight face. I wouldn't even be able to just look. Like, I would feel ashamed just to be here. Because, like, it's just, like, I've seen communities where, like, you know, I've seen the bright side of the communities, like, a, bu a bunch of things, you know, Pokemon, Steven Universe, and a bunch of other communities where they have a nice bright side, don't get me wrong, and I try my hardest to, like, focus on the bright side because I know people on the good side of communities can do amazing things. But, of course, there's the dark side of communities that just do terrible, horrendous things, and it makes me feel so bad because I love those communities, but I cannot admire and appreciate the bad parts of those communities, and this is Cookie Run included, and it just... It just makes me legitimately upset. It makes me angered. And you know for a fact, like, I did somewhat mention this on my Discord, but there were people who really wanted me to make a video on this. And don't get me wrong, I did want to make a video on this, but I was working on, you know, the your local pleb top 10 Pokemon Creepypastas video, and I also made an extra Halloween video that I didn't even expect to make for, uh, you know, the Hyper Hyperheim channel, which was all about that project comic I was working on called uh, Cook Run uh, reflective burnout and I still love working on that comic, but that's not about that This is about this right now and people in I just want to focus on those for the time being and not the drama But it just keeps appearing over and over again to the point where like there was actually a trending hashtag called hashtag save Rose because like I said Rose didn't deserve anything so like like, she deserved all like the positive because she's just like doing her job being a community like community manager like really can are you really going to scream at like I don't know, a local construction worker that, like, something does not look right. No, you take that to the higher-ups. You contact the higher-ups. You don't just tell that to, like, the first worker that you see. It's stupid. And I'm sorry if I'm, like, going on a rant right now, but I just hate either-or parts of the situation. And let me just say, this obviously isn't everyone who's, like, on the Kick Around community, because there's people who are, like, you know, good. They're obviously, like, pointing out, like, kind of, like, on the side of me, like, you know, pointing out that they're not for, you know the harassment towards Rose, and, like, how people treat her, and how the company's treating her, and to those people, you have all of my respect already, you have every single inch, every single centimeter, every single atom of my respect, you have it all, and I respect you, t like, t to the end of the world, you have all my respect, and I thank you for that, but there just needs to be people out there who know that we're all human at the end of the day, and you have to treat humans with respect, and yeah, sure, you can have hatred for a human, but you need to treat them with respect and how they would treat you, being like, you know, we're all humans at the end of the day, so we need to literally treat each other as human, because I know, like, there's people who are going to have disagreements with others, but you can't just live life with a bunch of hatred in your heart, and yes, there are things that you can hate, but you can't just, like, lash out with someone who does not deserve it. You, if you're going to lash out at someone, Lash out at the people who, like, within right, of course, within rights, like, within reason, you can't just go on a full-on, like, rageful rant. No, you have to tell their flaws and, like, do it in a professional manner 
And like, especially with constructive criticism and stuff like that, that's a heavy thing too. And you have to do it with the right people. You don't just go up to a local community manager and just go like, hey, you suck. That's the complete wrong thing you should do. The complete right thing you do is like contact the higher ups and go like, hey, even if this doesn't, if, even if this message does not make it to you, you need to hear what needs to be heard because that's the best thing that you can like do. And the thing was with all the flaws that I listed, there's a lot more flaws that can be noted. And I really didn't want to make this video because it was, I'm recording this at the end of my Halloween night. I just got back from trick or treating and I just need to record this video because like it's been a long, I just wanted to get this out of the window. I didn't want to like deal with this anymore. I can talk about this in the future in a minimal extent, but like, I just don't want to hear about this drama anymore. I just want something to be done. I'm really hoping that Dev Sisters can just listen to us and i'm really hoping that the community of who whoever the pleb tried insulting the wrong people can learn i hope that both sides of this dev sisters and the bad parts of the cook run community can learn from this because that's the thing that humans do at the end of the day we learn and we try to improve and that's the best thing because that's the thing that always motivates me i learn from things that i like have made mistakes from and i try and learn and improve from them because that's a basic human thing that everyone needs to know about just learn and i know it kind of seems like i'm going off right now but i legitimately am like i'm sorry if like i'm kind of like going off on like other subjects but like i'm not going to be able to play cookie run forever like i know it kind of like sounds like a sad truth but there's going to be a point where like i stop and like move on to other things and uh, maybe it might be tomorrow maybe it will be in a few years maybe a few months who who knows but i'm just saying on the path that oven break is going and I'd say even a little bit of Kingdom, well, the BTS event is actually pretty fine, to be honest. Like, I actually think the event was pretty fun. But for what it's being worth, it's just, Oven Break is just going on a downward spiral, and I just, it just sucks. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who, like, is really, like, forced on that situation. And, of course, I'm still going to play it because I know people love that content. And while I don't totally hate the game... I'm just saying it's giving me more reasons to stop playing. And of course, I'm still going to keep providing for the people who are interested. But I will at least say soon in the channel, I might try and diverge into other new Let's Plays and other new like videos that I might try and work on. They're not going to be like your local play videos where they're like more heavily edited. They're kind of going to be like maybe like in the past where I maybe do like, you know, a horror game or like other Let's Plays of other games. And I don't know. It's going to be stuff like that. And... Expect that that in the future because I need to try and devolve this content like where it's not just solely cookie run anymore. And of course, I have done other content where it's like not cookie run technically, like some other goofy videos and stuff. But I can't have this solely rely on cookie run anymore, especially if this is the path that they're going down. So I'm not sure if this video really just settled like any sort of thing. I just need to make this video to like get the message aware. And this is probably even way longer than the end feed video, which I do apologize for that, but I just needed this message to be out there. Dev Sisters, you definitely need to listen to your fans, and you definitely need to make sure that people with like mental health and awareness, or like especially the people working at your company, are in check, and you treat everyone well, including people who work there, people with fans, and make sure that you listen to the fans and what they want. But to the people with who I was talking about in the Kikuran community, you need to treat others with respect. Even if something bad happens, you need to handle it in a correct way. Like, and there's obviously people who I still enjoy in the Kikuran community. Obviously, there's so many people to like. But to the people who I know I am talking about, you need to learn. Dev Sisters need to learn. Everyone needs to learn. Because like I keep saying, we're humans at the end of the day, and humans learn. And that's about that i'm sorry if you were expecting like something else like a cool kingdom video but i pe people were even telling me like oh you should probably make a statement about this which yeah i know it may seem like you know it might it might, it, it might just go beyond deaf ears but like it might just make the statement a little bit more powerful if at least one more voice was heard so that's why i'm also making this video so if you decide to stick around for the whole video, thank you. Uh, share this message around if you want to share the video. I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe or even like it. Just share this video around just so people in the community can learn. Just so dev sisters can learn. Because I'm also going to be trying to like plumbing directly email dev sisters myself. And seeing hopefully just another email 
is going to add on to that. I wouldn't even recommend doing something like, you know, mass bombing, like one star bombing their games, because I don't think they'll care about that. I think really that just like makes the community crumble more. What should direct them the most is just giving them a direct message and a huge public outcry. That's the best thing that I think we can do. So I'm not even probably going to do like a normal outro for this. I'm just saying, please, if you want to share this message and yeah, I really hope you all have a wonderful day or night or whatever time you're watching this. And yeah, just please learn because I love every single one of you and I want to hope for the best for everyone within this community, whoever's inside of it or whoever's out of it. I genuinely love this community and I really hope that it doesn't crash and burn because I genuinely love each and every one of you.